Okay, now we waited a minute, and I don't know if you can see this very well, but some of these wells look different than before. Some of them aren't really reddish. They look like whitish a little bit more, or that lighter red color, and you can see lots of little dots in there. So helper, can you point to the wells that look whiter now instead of red? There, yep, where else? Yep, where else? Yep, yep, you got it. So what this means, happen. yeah, and these two didn't change. So for, for Juana's blood, it looks like, and just in case you can't see, I'll tell you the results. It looks like hers, her blood did not clump with antibody A and also did not clump with antibody B. So it did not for both. It looked like Altan Sarnay's blood. It looked like her blood was the exact opposite. It clumped with antibody A and it clumped with antibody B. Now, Bagani's blood, it looked like his blood did not clump with A, but did clump with antibody B. And then lastly, for Murad's blood, it looks like his did clump with A, with antibody A, and did not clump with antibody B. Now, if we remember from the lesson again here. Mommy B? Yeah. So, if we remember from the lesson, someone's blood will clump if they have the antigen or the protein and the antibody. Okay, now I'd like you to try and diagnose the blood types of these four patients using this data.